Good day, Dimitri. Good day, Bjorn. The Grof Peterkamp's private banking department also has a professional wealth team. It consists of experts with experience in tax, in legal, in financial matters with regards to remuneration or compensation in shares. I suggest that we discuss the topic in this video and that you give an overview of your services. But first of all, remuneration in shares or equity, it's a very specific form of compensation, isn't it? Indeed, at Professional Wealth, we focus on two target groups. First of all, international partnerships, uh, typically the Baines, McKinsey, Boston Consulting Group, uh, big four companies uh, of the world. They don't have any specific share-based remuneration, but the other group, the executives of quoted companies, they often have within their uh, remuneration package a form of share-based compensation, and there we really uh, try to make the difference. That share-based compensation has, has two important elements. First of all, alignment between the company and the executive through share-based remuneration. And secondly, that share-based remuneration has a retention element. Often there are conditions, blocking periods, that you can't exercise the position immediately. So you need to stay in the company for a certain period of time before you have actually access to your shares. Hence, that creates a form of uh, retention. And why do clients, companies and executives call on your services? Well, actually, uh, if you build up such a position over the year, it becomes an important position in your overall wealth, so an over-concentrated risk in one single stock, and that's typically the starting point. We also see it from time to time in, in, in wealthy families who have one single uh, position in portfolio. But that over-concentrated risk is typically the starting point where we try to uh, diversify uh, the position over time. And how are you as experts guiding those clients that have such problems? We actually work with a, with a global slash local model, which we call Glocal. Expertise in the headquarter of the Groove Peter Camp in Brussels and a go-to-market approach via the local offices. Uh, there are 15 local offices in Belgium uh, via the private bankers, which are actually operating locally. They have a good feeling with the market locally. They can identify uh, the professional wealth, I would say clients, prospects, the ones who actually are facing this, uh, these issues and hence make the bridge to the expert team in, uh, in Brussels. Now, returning equity positions from abroad is crucial. It's one of the first steps. Indeed. That's a starting point. We often see that these companies work with one sole provider worldwide to manage their plan manage the equity plan. That can be the a computer share, a Morgan Stanley, a Fidelity. But of course, a US company which is managing a plan all over the world does not know all the specific local uh, legal and, and tax conditions. Hence, from a Belgian point of view, for a Belgian resident, they don't uh, implement, I would say, a uh, tax and securities account. From time to time, they do not apply the correct Belgium slash US withholding. Also the tax on stock exchange transactions, when somebody is actually selling a share, uh, they don't apply the Belgo Belgium uh, tax on stock exchange transactions. So a lot of administrative and tax rules which they don't have to follow. Hence that means that the executive has to do it himself or herself manually. And that's important if we transfer the position to Belgium and account it to Groove Peter Cam, we actually take care of all those admin and tax obligations. And then a second step is determining investment strategies, both financially but also in the context of uh, family estates planning. Can you give a few examples of that? Indeed, and actually the, the starting point is also the reason why we actually are transferring the position to Belgium is actually in case of disease. So in case the executive who is holding the position abroad dies, well, then we have potentially an, an enormous issue because it can take up to sometimes two years for the heirs to transfer position to Belgium. So what we actually say is once a year, the position is transferable, just to transfer it once a year to Belgium to avoid that, that first uh, problem. Once the position is in Belgium, actually the, the full scope, I would say, opens up, the more, I would say, classical private banking approach, although with a, a couple of specific uh, expertise elements. Financially speaking, we can offer actually an access to our dealing desk for those who need a direct access to the dealing desk. Secondly, uh, we bridge to the estate planning team. The estate planning team actually to prepare, and first of all, to listen to the client, how they would like to, I would say, plan 
the transfer of the position to the next generation, typically the children, and to manage actually such concentrated risk in the overall view of their uh, family wealth. So your services go well beyond advice and management. It's really the first step in a more general asset or estate planning. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a starting point is bringing the position to Belgium, and then it's really listening to the client and actually transferring the position based on the client's needs towards the next generation. Dimitri Wintmollers, thank you very much. Thank you, Bjorn.